Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a health supplement store using Shopify. So first, uh, be sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So without further ado, let's get going. Now we're going to go over the product section and we're going to click on the add product. Here we're going to start filling on the blanks with our product information. And here for the title, for example, I'm going to start with my uh, whey protein powder. There you go. Now I'm going to copy my title and here for the description, I'm going to click on generate text. I'm going to paste it over here. Now I'm going to click on generate and Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to create a description for us. Here we can either choose to, ten to generate the description again or just keep the one we already have. So I'm just going to click here to keep the, this one and here for media I'm going to click on upload new and I'm going to choose an image for our product. On our right we're going to have a product type, a vendor, collections and tax section. For collections make sure you add your product to your home page and for tax let's put for example a whey protein. There you go. Now, below our image, we're going to have a category section. Now, usually Shopify is going to choose a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. But in case it isn't, we can uh, click over here and change it if we so want it. So for pricing here, let's say that we are going to charge around uh, 60,000 pesos for uh, this protein and the cost per item is going to be around 40,000 pesos. This is going to give us a 20,000 pesos profit at a 33.3% margin of profit. For inventory we are just going to uncheck this because we are not going to keep track of it. And here we also have a weight section to assign weight to our product in case we are going to do any kind of shipping. So once we are done customizing our product we are going to go over here on the bottom right and we are going to save our changes. As you can see if we go back we would have our first product uploaded. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on add product again and I'm going to keep uploading all of the products that I want on my online store. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. So as you can see guys here I have added a bunch of new products. For example my creatine, a, my pre-workout and my vitaminic supplement. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to our online store and we're going to start to customize it. Now the first thing that we're going to be able to change is going to be its theme and if we go down we're going to have a bunch of different free themes for us to use or if we want to shop for more of them we can click over here on visit theme store and we are going to be redirected to the Shopify theme store where we are going to be able to change uh, and shop uh, for a bunch of different themes. Now some of these uh, themes uh, may better suit our website but for me I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. So back over here we're going to click on customize and here we're going to start uh, customizing all of the sections for our online store. For example uh, it's you can see that each section is going to be outlined by this blue line and here on the top left the name of the section is going to be displayed. On our right we're going to have a bunch of different options to customize uh, our section. For example this is our image banner and if we click over here on select add images we're going to be able to select an image to be our banner. So once this is done processing I'm going to click on done and as you can see the background of our banner is going to change. Next I'm going to click on our heading to change the text over here on the right. For example I'm going to put welcome to my health supplements store. There you go. Now let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here where it says template and we're going to click on add section. Here we're going to have a bunch of different options to add for example featured collection, a featured product, collection list etc etc. For me I'm just going to choose a featured product and as you can see here, right at the bottom, a new section is going to appear. Now on the right, I'm going to click on select right over here to select a product to be displayed. For example, we're going to choose my creatine. And as you can see here, the product is now being displayed. 
Now let's say that we want to change, for example, the color scheme of this new section and we're going to choose a nice dark theme. Another thing that can happen uh, is that we have added a new section by mistake. For example, I'm going to add this featured collection and we want to delete this section. So what we, uh, what we have to do is make sure we have this section selected and here we're going to go over the remove section button. So once we click it, as you can see, this section is going to be completely removed. Now, uh, another thing that we can do is we can add sections to both our footer over here. For example, we can add an email sign up and a custom liquid. And the same goes for our header here. If we click, we can add a custom liquid or an announcement bar if we so want it. Another very important thing about our header is going to be that right over here where it says my store, our store's name is going to be displayed. So in order to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes. We're going to go back over here where it says exit. We're going to go to the home page of Shopify and here where it says name your store, we're going to click it and then name store. Here we're going to be able to change our store's name. For example, I'm going to put health supplements whoops i'm going to put a magic there there you go and we're going to save our changes and now in order to make sure that everything is correct we are going to go back to our online store but instead of going to customize we are going to click on the three dots we're going to click on preview and as you can see this is going to redirect us to our website and now uh, here on the header our store's name is going to be changed we can scroll down to make sure that everything else is set up just the way we want. And once we are done customizing and setting up our website, we are going to go back over here in order to go to the analytics and marketing section. And next, we are going to go over here to the analytics section. Now, this is going to be a really important section for us, guys, because here we're going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value, and many different things, such as, for example, uh, which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers, among many, many other things and uh, information, which is going to really help us manage and customize our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly, I wanted to show you the discount section here. If we go to discount, I'm going to click on add discount. We are going to choose an amount of products and here we're going to be able to customize our own discount for our online store. For example, here we can choose the code. Let's say we're going to put code 101 or we can just click over here and a Shopify is going to provide us a random code for us. Below it, we can choose which kind of discount it's going to be, either a fixed amount or a percentage amount. I'm going to choose a percentage and let's say we're going to have a 10% discount. Below it, we can choose which uh, collections our discount is going to apply to. For example, um, we are going to click on Browse and I'm going to choose the products of my homepage collection. If we keep going down, you can see that we have uh, more options to further customize our discounts, such as if we need any minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations, and lastly here, if we click on set end date, we can choose an expiration date for our discount. For example, I'm going to choose the 29th and here I'm going to click save discount. Now we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a three days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.